So today, HTC, everybody's favorite little smartphone manufacturer that could, announced the successor to the very well-reviewed HTC One at a press conference. The 2014 version of the One brings a number of improvements and innovations, but we're still not sure if it's going to be enough to make a dent on the well-funded, well-marketed Apple-Samsung duopoly that currently exists. Nonetheless, let's take a look at some of the changes. The new HTC One features a very similar design to the original, with the exception of being slightly larger to accommodate a 5-inch display instead of the 4.7-inch found in its predecessor. The new one has even less plastic, too. HTC has brought the aluminum casing all the way around the edges to become flush with the screen. Honestly, the most impressive feature of the original HTC One was its dual front-facing stereo speakers branded Boom Sound. It's hard to describe how big of a step up these speakers were compared to other smartphone speakers without actually hearing the difference for yourself, but those who have will know exactly what we're talking about. HTC has made a number of behind-the-scenes improvements with the speakers for the new phone, which they claim will deliver 25% more sound than before, as well as a richer and sharper sound thanks to a new amp and DSP. We haven't heard them in person yet, but if they have improved upon the previous speakers at all, HTC will still undoubtedly be the smartphone audio champ. On the hardware side, we see 2 gigabytes of RAM and 16 to 32 gigabytes of onboard storage. The most interesting changes in the new phone include the upgrade to a Qualcomm Snapdragon 801 processor, which should prove more than adequate at keeping your phone fast and responsive under all circumstances, and a micro SD expansion slot, which will let you add up to an additional 128 gigabytes of storage on the cheap. As for battery performance, you can expect a healthy bump. The new HTC One gets a 2600 milliamp hour battery, up from 2300, as well as a number of behind the scenes improvements designed to extend your potential time between charges into the weeks when you aren't using it that much. HTC took a big bet last time around by abandoning the megapixel race in favor of a larger sensor that takes in more light. In practice, however, HTC's 4 megapixel ultra pixel camera didn't really win on any fronts except for low light performance. The biggest disappointment with the announcement of the new phone is that HTC is largely sticking to their guns by using the same sensor and megapixel count as that of the previous phone. The interesting development is that HTC has chosen to add a second camera above the first one on the back. The second camera is used to capture depth information about your photos so that you can refocus and selectively blur parts of your photos after you've taken them. It looks like a pretty cool feature and one that we're sure we'll enjoy, but we can't help but wish HTC had spent their time and effort towards a better main camera instead of a gimmick like this. Last but not least, HTC is releasing Sense 6.0, the latest version of their Android skin, alongside the new device. With it, you get things like gesture-based wake-up functionality, letting you go straight to an app or other areas of your phone without having to hit a lock screen first. HTC has used the same design language found in Sense 5.0, with a number of behind-the-scenes improvements that will make using the phone a lot simpler and more streamlined. And that's the new HTC One in a nutshell. It's a mostly iterative release on one of our favorite phones from last year that brings a number of needed improvements, but missed in a few areas we wish they hadn't. That having been said, the new HTC One will easily go toe-to-toe -to -toe with any of the other top-tier smartphones on the market, and it's definitely going to be one you should consider before making your next upgrade. You can already buy the device starting today, so no need to pre-order and wait around if you're already sold.